Hi, welcome to Practical. My name is Mike, and this is my very first YouTube video. I wanted to start this channel, uh, Practical, kind of a play on words. Kind of want to give you guys an idea, some practical ways that you can have some tactical gear. Um, you know, that's not going to blow your budget. It's going to be kind of affordable and easy to do. You know, there's a lot of a lot of gear guys out there that just kind of hammer hammer the really expensive gear that you can't afford and you're just kind of like oh cool you know I want that but you can never afford it so there are a couple guys out there that do a great job I love watching uh, Nothing Fancy's videos uh, Cut Cutlery Lover uh, great videos all kind of geared towards that same thing and I wanted to kind of give my two cents and you know start doing it it's my passion I love gear I love you know doing this whole EDC or everyday carry thing and having this stuff on my person at all times to you know give myself capabilities to be the guy that's that's there with uh, you know the multi-tool or or a light when someone needs it um, just stuff that I have on my person every day enjoy carrying it love doing it you know so so here it is here's everything that I carry every day um, this is basic actually usually I carry more I usually got a bag with me has a small medical kit, um, some other stuff in there, you know, USB port, uh, gum, other stuff, you know, just the basic stuff you need every day. But this is basically a lot of the tactical gear that, that I carry and um, use every day. Now, um, first I want to kind of show you this knife here. This is a Spyderco Stretch. Uh, really cool knife. I'll be doing separate reviews on all this stuff later, but... Just kind of giving you a short, short video showing you everything in there. You know, kind of a cool, cool handle on that FRN fiberglass reinforced handle, VG10 steel, great steel, great utility steel, doesn't rust. Um, just love that blade shape. Use it all the time. Super light knife. Don't even know you're carrying it half the time. Also on my person, I usually carry a light. This is a Coast G20 and. Uh, super great buy I think I got this at Home Depot and it only cost me 10 bucks and it has an output of like 35 lumens super bright spotlight Ooh, that did not focus huh super bright spotlight hold on I'll give it a second to focus and um, you know outputs 35 lumens which is a pretty bright light usually uh, flashlights that that put that out are more expensive also, I'm carrying with me a Leatherman S2 Juice. This is probably my most used multi-tool. I use this thing every day. Um, you know, all sorts of tasks, opening boxes. It's got a great little knife on that. You know, full-size pliers, just about. It's just a cool little multi-tool, and it's always there when I need it. Don't even know I'm carrying it. It's 4.4 ounces. Great, cool thing to have on you. Um, also, which is probably the big guy in the room here, I'm carrying this Smith & Wesson SD9 VE. It's not the Sigma. <laughs> it's got a little bit better trigger. Um, pretty affordable gun. You know, I think I paid in the $300 range for this. Um, really good. Basically, it's a lot like a Glock. You know, three dot sights on that. It's been safety checked, by the way, so no worries there. Um, the magazines it holds is a, let me see here, that is a 16 plus 1, but I found that, you can't really focus on that, sorry, 16 plus 1, but uh, I found you have to download the magazine by 1, so it's really a 15 plus 1, I've only had uh, 16 rounds in there with whatever ammo I'm using. Uh, speaking of ammo, right now I usually carry two magazines with me, I have uh this is a Hornady Critical Defense hollow point bullet, uh, steel casing, great, I think it's 115 grains. Um, it's kind of a cool bullet and later on I want to do an expansion test with this so as soon as it warms up I'll be getting out there with some water drugs trying to catch this bullet and we'll see how, uh, how this bullet mushrooms out. Um, kind of a cool round and the other one I usually don't keep this in the gun, it's usually in my bag but it's a uh, Remington. 115 grain brass case bullet. It's a good bullet to have. And like I said, this is my basic EDC things that I have with me on all times. 
Um, I'm going to be reviewing all this stuff separately, and I have a lot of other gear to review too. So stay tuned. You know, um, subscribe to my channel, like, like this video. It's just the first of many. So thank you again.